here we have a HP DV6 7000 series. My Pacific laptop is 7028TX. We're going to open it up and explore the insides. Yes, my laptop's a bit scratch and ugly, but its only purpose is to use to disassemble, so it doesn't really matter. So, remember to put your laptop on something soft so you don't damage it or scratch it, and flip to the back where we start off. So remove your battery if you haven't, as there's three screws under it. <coughs> We're gonna remove one battery, uh, one screw here, to remove the quick access back panel. This shows you your hard drive, your two RAM slots, your wireless card, and gives you access to remove your DVD drive. I'm just gonna show you. So after you remove the screw, slide it to up, and then you just take it off. The screw doesn't come off; it stays on. So this is your wireless card, RAM slot, and your hard drive. So remember to remove your wireless cables before you remove your wireless card. And <coughs> there's one screw holding the wireless card down. Then you just pull it out and it comes off. With the RAM, there's two RAM slots. Just push out the sides and the RAM pops up. So two RAM slots mean 16 gigs max. And this is DDR3, not DDR3L. So you allow to use both. So the hard drive, you normally have a hard drive cage here, but I don't, I lost it. Remember to remove your cable for your hard drive cage to take your hard drive out. So now, we're actually going to remove the DVD drive and remove every screw on the back. So I'm going to remove the DVD drive now. There's one screw holding the DVD drive down. And you just drag your DVD drive out. Then it comes out. Now we need to remove every screw on the back and just point them out now to remove your keyboard cover and your keyboard. Make note of which screw goes where as there's a few numbers of screws and a few of them are different.
We're going to remove this, these two cables. One is the BIOS battery and one is the speaker. You need to remove them to remove the keyboard cover and the motherboard. So we're going to flip the laptop over now since we've removed all the screws. And we need to remove the keyboard before we can remove the keyboard surround. So with the keyboard you can either get your prying tool or just use your hand and stick it in and lift it up. Always lift up the top first as there's no hinges or anything holding it down. Hinges or tab. So after you remove your keyboard, you need to drag it, pull it a bit, and there's a cable behind it. We're able to remove all the tabs. And there's a few screws holding the keyboard surround down. I'm just pointing out the screws now. There's three screws, or four. Finish removing all the screws. We need to remove the cover or the keyboards around. You can start off where the DVD drive is, makes it slightly easier. You can use your prying tool, but I'm not using it since the DVD drive the DVD drive cover made it easier to remove. When you remove it, you have to remove another cable here. That's your base, I believe, or subwoofer speaker. This is your monitor cable, LCD cable, remember to remove it. Now I'm going to show you how to remove the LCD screen. So there's two screws holding the LCD screen down there, and there's two screws holding it on the other side. Remember to remove your wireless card cable as it gets in the way. You have to reroute it or unroute it from the other side, which makes it quite hard. There you go. I'm not going to remove the LCD itself, but I'll show you where the screws are removed. So it goes underneath your motherboard. Now we're going to remove the motherboard. You need to remove two screws holding the motherboard down and remove the cable underneath it. The cable I'm removing, there's a power cable as well. We need to flip over as I forgot to remove the DVD drive cable. It holds it down. Oh, it's actually, it's here. You don't have to remove it. You have to, don't have to flip it upside down. So remove the cables attached to the board. And just tilt it up. And it comes off relatively easy. There's a power cable underneath there, which I explained before. That's your AC power cable. And there we go. This is where you can wrap the wireless cable. I'm not going to do it because I'm going to get too lazy putting it back. So here we have the motherboard. Just going to look at it a bit. So that's a CPU. 
that's a graph card. These black chips are the graph card memory. Each one is 512, so the graph card is 2 gigs. That's an M SATA slot, which is empty. So here's a heatsink for a CPU and graph card. And you need to remove those heatsink to replace the firmware paste and clean it. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. This disassemble is pretty easy as there's not many screws, all the screws are just on the back. Remember to separate the screws so you remember where each screw goes as putting the wrong screw in the wrong place is a bad thing and this is why this laptop doesn't work anymore as I put the wrong screw in the wrong place. Thanks for watching.